What's up guys? Today I wanted to take a quick talk on 3D printer filament, specifically moisture. What happens when our filament gets wet? We have bad print. If we do a little bit of easy storage, some uh, tips and tricks, you won't end up with near as many problems. Your filament will stay dry. I'll also go over how to dry it if you end up with getting a little bit of moisture in there. To understand what happens, why moisture causes problems with our prints, it's pretty simple, but you gotta go back to grade school science. And what happens with water when you heat it to the point of becoming steam? It expands massively. Three, two, one, on some steam. When we have this expansion within our extruder, this steam created, we end up with small voids created in our print. This causes adhesion issues, it causes aesthetic issues, it just looks like heck, and actually causes little pock marks throughout the print. We can avoid this, and we can also fix this if we learn to recognize it. Let's go ahead and make a quick moisture sensor to test what the humidity is in my 3D filament box, and then we can monitor it going forward as well. It might be fun to do a project with ESP8266s. We could have wireless moisture monitoring of our filament. That might actually be a little fun. Let me know in the comments comments down below if you want me to make that. All right, first up, we're going to need a couple of goodies again. We need a humidity sensor. Rain sensor, don't need that. There we go, DHT11 temp and humidity sensor. These aren't the most accurate sensor out there, but they will, it absolutely will work for what we need here. As well as that sensor, we're going to reuse the uh, OLED display and Arduino kit assembly that we just did a couple videos ago. I'll link it down below. Um, we can output our humidity on the display here. Should work good. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the assembly of this or the writing of the code. We're just going to flash right to it. All right, and just like that, I've got this assembled and the code written to it. There's not much to it. The DHT11 sensor just needs power and ground and one pin to the Arduino. It's going to digital pin two. And then some quick mods in the code, which you're gonna find on my GitHub as a separate file. It's gonna be listed as the OLED in humidity sensor. You can just download it and use it. You're gonna need the DHT library though. All right, so this is capable of, with any luck, showing us a humidity reading. There we go. Relative humidity down here right now, about 38%. This should be able to measure. Let's go check it out. This is one of the totes that I use for storing my 3D printer filament. It works really good with a specific device inside. Now, uh, we're measuring only about 36% uh, humidity inside the box right now. Now that's high because boneheaded Eric went and had the lid off just before the video. So, but that'll come down in a bit and I'll show you why. Inside the box, I have lots of printer filament, but I also have one of these, these EVA dry. So these are a reusable desiccant system. Basically, it'll remove the moisture from the air until it gets saturated to the point where the desiccant will become that color of wet. And we're most of the way there right now. When that happens, you just go ahead and plug it into the wall for up to a day and it'll dry right out. And then you just put it back in with your filament and this will maintain a very, very low moisture content in there and protect your 3D prints. Some of these filaments, particularly like these translucents seem to be quite sensitive to moisture. They seem to be really hygroscopic, worse than others. Definitely ABS is quite bad for it. It'll pick up a lot of moisture. So if you go ahead and you can also just buy desiccant and put it in here, but you gotta throw it away every time or you can actually dry it out. And I'll show you how to do that in a couple minutes. Also something else you can do, when you have your printer down for a significant amount of time, like my CR10 has been, go ahead and clip the filament off, take the roll off and put it into your storage. That way it won't pick up moisture. It'll be ready to go when you are. Whenever you can, store your filament inside of a relatively airtight tote with some desiccant and it'll last a lot longer for you. And you can also recover filament this way. It will dry over time with just the desiccant in here, but there is a quicker way. Real quickly too, to recognize some of the failures of moisture in the print, it helps to be able to see some. See these little tiny holes? they will be difficult to pick up on camera. These little pockets, often happen when you have high moisture content in your filament. They'll be random in nature and they'll just leave an under extruded spot. This can also be a result of retraction settings. In this case, uh, if this was moisture in this case and I dried out this filament and the next print of this wing was perfect. 
It was also caused a little bit of layer adhesion issues. Keep an eye out for these as well. Quite often, the number one thing that tips me off that I've got moisture is I'll get a chalky, dull look to prints. Now, it's tough to judge because this is a very, very shiny, translucent filament to begin with. But I don't know whether this is, you can pick this up, but it should be shinier than this. It should be clearer and shinier, but it's got that chalky, opaque look to it. And that shouldn't be. That's a sign of moisture. And when I dried this filament out, this went away and it just looked beautiful and laid down awesome layers after. So I hear you saying, but Eric, what do I do if my filament is already wet? By far the easiest I've found, a food dehydrator. You can pick these up at like Walmart for a reasonable price, or you can go to thrift stores and you can pick them up. People ditch these things all the time. They think they want to make some jerky and well, it just doesn't seem appealing after they figure out that there's work involved. Go ahead and pick one of these up. Just go ahead and put your filament in there, set the settings fairly low. I don't know, I run mine around 115 range or thereabouts. It's not going to hurt the filament down that low, but we don't want to distort the spool or anything over time. Let it run a few hours or whatever and test it out. Depends on how wet your filament is, how quick it'll dry out and how much airflow it goes through. These, these fans really pump out a lot of air. Some people do dry it in the oven. That's hard uh, and I don't recommend it. This is pretty high chances of failure. I think this just works or Go ahead and put your, your, your wet filament in a sealed tote by itself with your desiccant and it will dry out over time. It's just going to take a little longer. Let me know down in the comments below if you've got any tips or tricks to dealing with wet filament, drying it out, keeping it dry. I'd love to hear from you. Click a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in a day or two with another video. Cheers!